copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one i can't find the original source of the video so if you can find it let us know in the comments who the original source is put a link to the channel anything like that so i can put the correct links to where it belongs but because i can't find those what i'm gonna do is put a link to where i did find this video that will be in the comments and in the icard if you do find the correct one let us know and i will put the correct ones in but in this one what you're gonna see is a police officer pull a gentleman over for going around the roundabout too many times and wearing a face mask yes you heard that right that was the reason for the stop she says she states that two or three times for being the reason for the stop but we're gonna do a light goal again we're gonna sit at a uh, hundred see if we're gonna get a hundred in 24 hours and let's just see if you can do it basically but let's just get straight into this video How's it going? Good. What are you doing going around the roundabout loads of times? I was confused on where I was. Um, is there a reason why you stopped me? Because yeah, you had a face mask on and then you drove around the I'm roundabout. I'm allowed to have a face mask. Yeah, I'm just stopping you to have a chat. Have you got your license on you? Okay then, so straight off the bat, I dislike this constable straight away. This video was recorded peak of COVID or just after COVID, one or the other. But it was during the COVID times where wearing a face mask was mandatory. Maybe not this type of face mask, but a face mask was mandatory. She's even got one on a on a vest. So that reason alone is quite nonsense. And then going around a roundabout too many times, well I well most people do the driving lessons get told if it's not safe to leave the roundabout, just go around it again until it is safe to leave. Maybe that's what he was doing. He already said he was confused, he didn't know where he was going, so he carried on going around. That's your excuse there. And now she's asking for his license. Wonder what section are you asking for all this stuff? You've stopped him. You haven't told him what section you're using to stop him. And you're doing it just to have a conversation. He doesn't want a conversation. Does that mean he's free to leave? Am I required to? Is there, is there a reason for this stop? That's what I'm asking. The face mask and the fact that you went round and round about two or three times. So basically what you're telling me oh, is that I'm not allowed to. You. Okay, cool. But you're telling me that you're stopping me because I wasn't sure what exit that I was taking on the roundabout. Then you're telling me you're stopping me because I had a face mask, which is actually required by the government. Is that what you're telling me? I'm a bit confused at the moment because it just sounds like you're discriminating me at the moment. That's why actually, no, no, I'm not doing this come on thing. I get you. you listen, I no, there's on the you, no, you, you stop a car for a valid reason. You can check my insurance via my registration. Go ahead and do that yeah, if you want to waste my time and your face. Okay then, so he's got a fair point and so has she. I'll start with his point. He believes it's discrimination. We've seen this happen before with uh, DM or DJ. If you watch some of his older videos where he's driving around in Rolls Royces and that sort of stuff, he gets pulled over quite a lot for no reason and it's because he is a uh, quote-unquote a black man driving a nice car in London. This is what the police officer told DMO. And now... This, I believe it's, well, I know it's an Audi, probably A5, something along them lines, souped up, uh, kitted out, probably, not 100% sure, but probably. And then I've got to, she's got a fair point as well. She can stop any vehicle she pleases to check the documents. Yes, any vehicle you please under 163 of the Road Traffic Act, you can stop any, if a constable asks you to stop, you should stop. But then 164 and 165 is where you can ask for, their license and uh, documents and paperwork and 165 is name and address if required but the law also states that you don't have to carry that sort of stuff so it's a bit complicated isn't it so she's writing is probably writing what he's saying as well but let's continue I am who I am and you can confirm those details with me if you so wish. You can call up to your controller and confirm my details. I'll be happy to confirm them. Okay, good. Right. So I am that person. I own a vehicle. I don't have my driver license on me. So if you want to confirm some further detail, I don't have any ID on me. And no, no, neither am I required to actually have my driving license on me or ID. I'm not required to by law. 
then how so, can I prove that you are the owner that, of this that's, car? That's that's your job to do. I've already told you I am the owner of this car. If you dispute the fact that I'm the owner of this car, you need to have reasonable suspicion under why you think under that what? I am not the owner of this car. Can you step have you got, and get hit by a car? I'm not going to step out of the vehicle as I'm not required to, but you seem to be wasting my time for no reason, stopping me for no reason, and stopping me for reasons which are actually not valid. Okay then, so never do these people a favour. They've asked him to get out of the car so she doesn't get hit by your car. Well, the answer to that is he said no. Plain and simple. Say no, you're under no obligation to get out of, to get out of your vehicle. You're under no obligation to put your window down. If you've been stopped, you can just speak through your window. I have seen people try this and then the police get all butt out about it and end up smashing the window and then arresting them for no reason. But it does happen. So sometimes it's best to just put your window down a hair, see what they say, because end of the day, when they pull you over, they're going to look for any other reason they can to give you a fan or a rest you. And that's why you don't get out of your vehicle. That's why you always keep your doors locked so they can't enter your vehicle. And when you get in their vehicle, it's got mics, so they are recording everything you say. So another, don't ever get in the police officer's vehicle. Oh, so they... Yes, get another car. So they slip by Padgwood Hyperbend. Hang on to the side. I just wanted... To be honest, I'm not... To be honest, yeah, in the climate that we're in, yeah, and you see what's going on in the news, I and you see what's going on in that... To be honest, I don't feel like you're being friendly with me. How? Second off, I How feel like... I, if, if, if somebody didn't know where they were going, would you have stopped anybody else? Are you allowed to wear a face mask? Is it government guidelines to wear a face mask? Yes. So why have I been stopped? You still haven't answered the actual question of a valid reason. You do not need to check my license, nor do I have to have my license with me. You should know that already. Road traffic out of 1998, you should already know. Can I genuinely ask right. you a question? How do I know? Because of the way you drive, Wait. just pass that on the right My driving license is valid. My license is valid. You've already but checked that through you... your AMPR system. No, I haven't. That's why you've been following me. I followed you. You followed I, me. Can I tell you, you followed why? me. But I need a conversation, not just you talking at me. I'm not required to have a conversation with you, nor yeah. do I want to. But I actually being, want to get off on my way. You're being defensive with me. I'm not, not being defensive, and actually, I find it very, um, very wrong that you're actually telling me that I'm being defensive and trying to use well, that you're not, you're not as a facet. With me. I do not need to engage with you. By law, I do not need to engage with you. You need to do your you job. Do Road traffic act. No, I do not. Yes, you do. No, I do not. The, dra the road traffic tax of 1998 which actually act? states. Which section? What do you mean, which section? Well, I'm, te I'm telling. I'm telling you the facts. I do not. I am not. Can, I, can you, do please you wanna... confirm your first name? Yes. Leave you alone. Right, that's Thank you. Needed. Right. But can I please? I know. I promise you. You don't understand the issues. climate. You don't. I do. You don't. But you, you don't think you do? You think you do? The same. No, but that's to be honest, saying. you're acting like the same as everybody else because you're stopping me for no reason. I haven't received a valid reason as to why you. To be honest I'm sorry with you, I upset you, yeah, I am I'm quite upset. I'm job. not gonna lie to you. I am quite upset. Thank you. Okay, so again, I'll let the last bit play out uninterrupted because that's a bit where it's just basically repeating themselves back and forwards. So it's basically the first bit, but the last bit as well. Like I said, I. I'm going to put links to where I found this. I haven't put it in the video because if one of you do find the original source, I will put the original links in there for this video. But if not, links to where I found it will be in the description. This interaction, she pulled him over for wearing a face mask and going around the roundabout too many times. Yes, she can pull any vehicle she wants over. But is that a reasonable excuse for stopping this person no i don't think it is especially considering that at that moment in time there was a government mandate to wear a face mask and going around the roundabout too many times you get told to do that in your driving test and on your driving lessons if you are unsure or it's not safe to leave. As long as you do it safely, there is not a problem with it. So if it's okay to do that in your driving test, why is it not okay to do it once you've actually got a license? Funny, isn't it? This, this instance, I think she is an absolute idiot. She did try, in, in my opinion, she did uh, single him out because she didn't like what he was doing. She didn't like him. 
I don't know if it was racial bias because of the mask he was wearing, because you can't really see his face anyways. So I'm not going to say it's racial bias, but there is some sort of bias in there. And what all this is just my opinion. Obviously, she was correct. She can stop him, stop any vehicle she pleases. She doesn't have to have a reason under 163. But again, this to me was absolute waste of time. She made herself look a bit foolish by what she said. The reason for the stop is absolutely foolish. And she gained what out of it? She did a vehicle check and then jumped in a car. I'm going to stop now. If you like the video, like the video. Please put a comment on the video. As many comments as possible. The more comments, the better it is in the algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.